Hello, everybody, and welcome to Facebook Friday. If it's your first time visiting, let me go ahead and introduce myself. Or if you are just a regular watcher, welcome back. Um, my name is Anne Marie Heil. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. You can find me on my blog at stampinan.com. And whether you're watching this video on Facebook or the replay over on YouTube, all of my links to all of my social media will be found in the description of the videos. So if you need more information or want to follow me over on Instagram or Pinterest or I don't even think Pinterest is up there. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but if you're on Facebook and want to follow me on YouTube and vice versa, all those links are in the description of the video. So um, also another thing I want to let everybody know is... Um, if you want a project sheet for the card that we're going to make today, um, sign up for my email list. I am going to pop that link here in the comments here on Facebook Live. So if you're not already signed up for my email list, um, you can do that. I send out an email about once a week unless something something big's going on or a big promotion or um upcoming deadline for a class or something. But um, I send about one email a week. It goes out usually on Saturday. That's my weekly newsletter. And I share with you, you know, any sales that Stampin' Up! is having, any classes, events that I have going on. Um, and I also put some creative inspiration in there for free. That's just my way of saying thank you for subscribing to me. And um, so you will get the project sheet for today's card. Project sheets include a picture, um, measurements and a full supply list. Sometimes there's instructions, but usually the video serves as the instructional piece. So um, I would love to have you sign up for my email if you're not already on that list. And just keep in mind, today is July 7th. So um, my email that will go out on July 8th will have today's project sheet in it and it'll also have last week's project sheet so next friday it'll have the video or the project that i do that friday plus this week's so just keep that in mind depending on when you're watching this video um i, I always like to make that reference in the video just so i'm clear if you're watching this video in like december um you'll get a project sheet you probably just won't get this particular week's project sheet so um just keep in mind that's the cadence of my emails okay hi elizabeth hi polly Hi, Cheryl. It is so nice to see you guys. Welcome. Okay, so like I mentioned, we're going to do a fun fold card today. Um, before we get to that, I want to do a little bit of housekeeping. So let me turn my light on here. Also, there's a host code here before I move this away. If you do need to order any Stampin' Up! product, I would love to help you out with that. Um, the link to shop is in the description of the video. You can also find it at stampinand.com. If you do shop with this host code, I do send some extra little goodies out as well. Um... All right, so Zany Zoo is what we're going to be working with here shortly. Let me move that out of the way. Before we get started, let's do prizes from last week. I was going to do it at the end, but I'm going to do it in the beginning. <laughs> so, hi, Kathy. Welcome. Oh, Katie says my foster puppy is darling. <laughs> She's in her kennel right now. You might hear her crying a little bit. So we picked up a foster puppy on Tuesday, you guys, and... Um, <laughs> She's precious. I didn't realize she was as young as she was. I thought she was a little bit older. She's 10 weeks old, so she's definitely a baby. And we're not really sure what she is. Um, a schnauzer, maybe Maltese. Um, I, I'm not really sure. Um, she's definitely got some terrier in her. But she is a riot. And you guys, so fun story. So when we picked her up at the rescue, <laughs> my my friend who runs the rescue, she... <laughs> She, she gave us her name and she um she's like, oh, and I looked at her and I said, I'm not calling her that. <laughs> so we renamed her. So her name at the rescue was Puddin and I just couldn't do it, guys. <laughs> It just, she's super cute, but I could not call her Puddin. So um, we renamed her Peggy and it really suits her very nicely, but she is adorable, you guys. She is roly poly. She's like, 10 weeks old so she runs and she falls and she's just she's a little goofball and she's a baby and she adores my husband um so it is the funniest thing she likes me but she adores my husband all the dogs love my husband I don't know but but so anyway we have her um, she's not, she still has to be spayed and neutered and get all of her vaccinations. Um, so she's not really ready for adoption yet. So we'll have her until she's ready and she's not potty trained either. So that, 
that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> ah, <laughs> I did not know I was getting a 10 week old puppy. I, when she sent me her picture, I thought she was about one to two years old. And I'm like, yeah, we'll take her. No problem. Cause we love the schnauzers. We're a schnauzer family. So we love to take the schnauzers. <laughs> and when we got there, I looked at her and I said, um, how old is she? When she told me, I went, oh boy. And my husband just looked at me and said, you did this. <laughs> so, so we have a puppy, but she's a hoot. We love her. Robin says, I don't know how you let them go. I would get so attached. You know, we do get super attached to our fosters. We love them just like our own. While they live here, we treat them just like our own dogs. And we love on them and give them all the affection and attention in the world. And the only thing that keeps me going is knowing that Letting them go to another home means that I can help another dog, and that's what keeps me going. I love them, and it's so stressful to let them go, but to know that I'm going to be able to help another dog makes it all worth it. So <laughs> that's the fuel to my fire when it comes to fostering. So, okay, back on track. You guys came here to see cards, right? I know. We all want to talk about the cute puppy. Um, I'll have to put her on, a, on video. Um, I'm just not, since she's not... Like, I literally have to take her out every hour <laughs> for this body training. So I put her in her kennel during this because I didn't want to have to watch her and have to have an accident. So <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but maybe next week we'll be in a better shape to show her. <laughs> so anywho, last week on Facebook Friday, this is the card we made. I love this card, you guys. Um, and I hope you do too. This one was super fun to put together using layering leaves. And this was a card we made. So again, if you miss the project sheet for this, make sure you're signed up for my emails because it'll go out in tomorrow's email, July 8th's email, this project sheet and the card we do today. So, um, what I do is for everybody who shares the video, um, I put your name into a drawing to win the card that I make live. So I did that. So whether you shared on Facebook or YouTube, um, I went ahead and put everybody into a drawing. So what I do is from the time I go live till the next time I go live, it counts. So if you're watching this like a couple days later, um, I'll still put you in the drawing. So for everybody who shared, I drew a name and I think I saw her here, Cindy Howard. <laughs> Cindy Howard, you won the beautiful layering leaves card. Cindy, I don't have your address. So <laughs> let me find my email. Um, I have a little card with my email on it. Here it is. So if you could drop me an email or send me a message here on Facebook, and um, if you'd like to send me your mailing address, I can pop this little cutie in the mail to you. And if if you don't want to send me your address, that's totally fine too. I don't want anybody to feel pressured. Um, but if you'd like the card, you can drop me a note with your mailing address, and I'll pop that in the mail. Thank you for sharing, Cindy, and congratulations for winning. Now, I do have a second card that I did for everybody who shared, and I just happen to have two of these cards made, so it's the same card. Some weeks it's the same card, some weeks it's not. Um, this week it happens to be that, because we did some different embellishments last week. So I put everybody in a drawing for commenting. So again, whether you're on Facebook or whether you're on YouTube, you got entered into the drawing and the winner for commenting is Patty Grana or Grana. Patty, I hope I'm saying this correctly. Um, so congratulations. And your friend Mary Alice recommended you to come and watch the video with sharing her video. So thank you, Mary Alice. And um, Patty, congratulations. I was so excited um, to see you join us for the first time. And um, congratulations. It was kind of fun. I love when I do the drawings and I see I see just familiar names, new names. It's always kind of fun. Um, I love sending happy mail. But Patty, I need your mailing address so I can send this to you. So if you don't mind dropping me an email, I can get that out to you, okay? And I know I missed a bunch of comments. Hi, Tammy. Oh, and Cindy, yes, congratulations. Yay. All right. Perfect. Cindy, thanks so much. I'll look for your message after the, um, after the video. So congratulations, y'all. All right. Let me move those out of the way. I want to talk to you about, I know I'm a little late getting started today, but we have to talk about the puppy, you guys. That was super important, right? <laughs> So, um, so I am going to talk to you guys about cultivated creativity, which is my monthly club. Um, you guys, I, I know I talk about this every video, but it's a great opportunity for me to share it with you. It also helps me show you a preview of the club this month. Um, so this month, 
I put everything in a basket and I can't find it because it's because <laughs> it's all in one spot this month. So basically, um, if you're looking for a creative kit to be a DIY paper crafting kit to be sent to your door every month where all the design and prep work is done for you, all you have to focus on is the stamping and assembling. Cultivated creativity is going to be your jam. I'm telling you, it is so much fun. I love club. Um, every month we focus on a bundle. So this month we are using Darling Details, which is probably one of my favorite bundles in the catalog. I know I say that about a lot of them, but this one I really love. The dies are super fun. Not only does it cut out the beautiful florals, but these dies, it they have some really fun like um, eyelet frames and borders that just really, um, it's just a really great uh, set. So um, this is our bundle this month. And... So basically, for Cultivated Creativity, what it is, is I send you a paper crafting kit that contains five projects, four cards, one non-card, and everything you need to create is in there except the bundle. You'll need that because I can't send you anything um, stamped to put your kits together because that's, that's a stamping up rule. So you'll need the bundle, you'll need ink, and you'll need adhesive. And the list of ink colors is over on my blog. And I do have a link for Cultivated Creativity in the description of the video if you want to learn more. And also if you want to register. Registration is open through the 20th of this month. And I would love to send you one of these kits. So... Darling Details is this month's club. Um, you have from now until the 20th to register. Um, it is a monthly subscription club. Now, there's no commitment. You can stay as long or as little as you'd like, but you manage your subscription. So if you want to come on and join for Darling Details, fantastic. Um, <laughs> and if you want to wait and see what's coming up next month and maybe it, it's not your cup of tea, you can totally cancel. I sure hope you won't, though, because for everybody who stays for six months consecutively, you do get a thank you gift. And um, yeah, it's just so much fun. And Tammy, <laughs> Tammy said, Oh, I'm getting some great feedback from you guys. Tammy says, love the club. I have that bundle. I'm ready. And I'm all ready to receive the kit. Can't wait. Anne Marie's kits are amazing. You won't regret it. Best kit I've ever been a part of gorgeous cards and projects. The tutorials are amazing too. Guys, I would love to have you try this out. Um, it is so much fun. The kit is $39 shipped. So it includes your shipping. It also includes $20 of product. Um, so you get consumable product to make your projects. So whether it's ribbon, paper, embellishments, um, all kinds of fun stuff. And then there's always little fun goodies tucked in there every month too. So there's always something to eat <laughs> in my kit. I always put a little crafty snack in there because crafting is better when you have something to snack on. <laughs> I always believe that. Now, uh, if you're watching this on Facebook, um, I did post some pictures of the prep work of last month's kit if you want to take a peek at that. But anyway, I'd love for you to check out Cultivated Creativity. Links in the description of the video. You still have time to sign up and you're going to want this Darling Details kit because it's super cute. Let's do a flyby of the projects. So as I mentioned, you guys, we do four cards, one non-card every month. And every month we focus on a little bit of a technique. So we are doing some masking this month, um, which is super cool. And I'm not going to talk about any more of that because I know club members kind of love some surprises. So we always try to focus on just a little bit of something, something in there to make it fun. So that's what we're doing. And here are the projects. Are you guys ready for a flyby? Let's do a drum roll. That's the worst drum roll ever. <laughs> oh, oh, Shirley says the thank you gift was fabulous. I'm glad you like it. And Mary Ellis says you'll love the club. They're well put together, so great and organized. Thank you so much. I appreciate the feedback, you guys. Let's do a flyby. So here are some of our cards this month. And this is super pretty, you guys. All of the insides of the cards are always decorated too. So you, because you know me, no naked insides, guys. I have some beautiful, fun projects. I love the color palette this month. This one is super fun. It's kind of a fun fold. It has a little surprise inside. And then our fourth card. Ba -dum -bum -bum. So super pretty. I have to fan them out to show you. What did I do? <laughs> I put them all out of order. I don't want to ding up my ribbon. So here are our four cards. We also have our fifth project is a non-card, and it is a cute little antibacterial holder. So this is super cute. You'll also get an antibacterial gel this month. So 
They just came today, as a matter of fact. They're from Bath and Body Works, too. I didn't, I got you guys the nice ones. I didn't get the cheap ones. <laughs> so, so if you're part of club, I got you, I got you a nice one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm such a snob with my antibacterial gel and I love the ones that smell good. So anyway, <laughs> that's this one's club. I see some hearts and likes. Thank you so much. So if you're already subscribed, you're all set to go. Your subscription will automatically um, bill and the kit will come to you. Um, you also get a fifth bonus card, or I'm sorry, a sixth bonus project that's included in your club. And guys, I apologize because that card, <laughs> I left it downstairs. I just realized it. Um, I had it downstairs because I was typing something up and I left it on the table. <laughs> so you do get a six bonus project. I'll show it to you another week, but um, that one I make for you. So you get the tutorial for it. Um, and I'll also make that one for you completely. It's a completed card. You get an envelope, everything ready to go. And um, it's super cool. So it has some really fun techniques. So you'll love it. I do want to share real quick. Last month we used layering leaves for club and I'm going to do a quick show you of our projects from last month. Um, this was last month's club. So we had our four cards. Our non-card was a notebook holder. And this was the bonus project that I created for you. So you got this one completed for you and the tutorial and everything to make these five projects. Um, I do have a couple of these kits left from Layering Leaves. If you are interested, please send me an email. I'll just leave them right here for just a quick second. If you're interested, please send me an email. Please don't comment on Facebook or YouTube. Um, I, I do them first come, first serve, and I do them via email. And it's so hard because I don't always get notifications for Facebook or things like that. So if you're interested in purchasing an extra kit for layering leaves, please reach out to me via email. I have a couple and they're first come, first serve. So they're $39 shipped and I can only send them in the US, but um, send me an email and I would love to get an extra kit out to you. All right. And Amy, if you're watching, I owe you an email <laughs> after this video. So I didn't forget about you. I just ran out of time before the video started. Um, okay. That's club. So please join. Also, guys, I do have an online event coming up at the end of this month, July 28th and 29th. We're doing Maker's Mojo Creative Escape. It is a two-day event. It is full of uh, full of creative goodness. It's an online um, event. We do it via Facebook group. If you can't make it live, everything's recorded for you. you. There's five demonstrators. We partner together to do this quarterly event, and we love it. And um, we do 10 presentations, and you guys get so much creative inspiration. We do um, 10 presentations, and it is so full of information. So you're going to get either techniques or fun folds or 3D projects. And we make a project for you live, but we also show tons of alternatives. So you'll walk away with so much creative inspiration. That's coming up at the end of the month. Makers Mojo, the link is in the description of this video um, for the sign up form. You can also find it over on my blog if you are interested. And if you're subscribed to my new, um, email newsletter, you'll get more information on that tomorrow too. Okay, and I see some people that love Makers Mojo who, who attend the event. Hi, guys. Um, yes, they. it is a fun event. All right, let's get started. I have, I feel like I'm running really behind today. I'm so sorry. The, the dog conversation distracted me. Um, hey, Roz. Yes, Makers Mojo is awesome. So, and I know some of you guys watching have, um, signed up. So if you're not registered yet, the link to register is in the description of this video. Please sign up. We're going to get started in our Facebook group next week. So if you are already registered, your emails will come from me. Um, I think we're opening the Facebook group on the 13th, um, but I will let you know as soon as it's available to join. So if you're not registered, don't miss out. <laughs> don't miss it. Sorry, I've heard some growling behind me. Um, because that is such a fun event, you guys. I can't, I, I can tell you more and more and more about it, but I know you came here to craft and I'm going really long. So, so here's our card today. I'm going to make a fun fold. How cute is this, you guys? Zany Zoo. And this is just a fun little like double diagonal card. I think this was shared. It was a Stampin' Up! video that was shared, I don't even know, like maybe six months ago back in January. And I just love this fold and it's so cute and easy to put together. Um, so I wanted to share this one with you today and it works so perfectly with Zany Zoo and its coordinating paper. So that's what we're gonna make today. Let's get started. All right, guys, we are gonna start out. Okay, I gotta shake my hands off and get my 
get my uh, creativity hat on here. <laughs> I feel like I'm all discombobulated today. Sorry. Um, if this is your first time watching, I normally don't take this long to do housekeeping, guys. It just happened to happen to go that long. I had a lot to tell you today. Um, <laughs> so, so we are going to um, to create this fun fold. Here's one thing that's really cool about it. Um, you can make two cards from one piece of cardstock. So because it's a diagonal fold, you do need to start with a an eight and a half and a, by eleven piece of cardstock, and um, this one, it's just kind of fun because you can do two at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, I have actually, <laughs> I have pre-marked this because I had used this one for a photo <laughs> than it that I did for the tutorial. So um, we're just going to use this one, but I'm going to take you through it. Okay, so we're going to start with your paper trimmer in an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Okay, and hi, Terry. Nice to see you. Oh, Terry, you're late, but you know what? I just, I talked about the awesome club this month, a little bit about Maker's Mojo and the new puppy um, and gave away some prizes. So we're just getting started crafting now. Here we go. So we are going to start by taking our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Okay. And we are going to put it in our paper trimmer at three inches and you're going to take a pencil and you're just going to put a little pencil mark right there. Okay. Now you're going to take your paper and rotate it 90 degrees and then go to three inches again, and then make another pencil mark at three inches. Okay, so that's how we get started. And again, we're gonna get two card bases for the price of one. Um, so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna angle your card stock into, and I know you might not be able to see the bottom. Um, so we've got, we're gonna angle this so I, I don't know if you can see the bottom of this or not, if you can't, but you're just going to angle that pencil mark here. Let me do it this way. How's that? We're going to angle our pencil marks on the track of the cutter. Okay, so see how they line up right there? That's a little bit easier. Perfect. Okay, I think that was the right angle. Now what we're going to do is... My scoring blade, you guys, is popping out of my trimmer. It broke. And guess what? You can, these were unavailable to order and they're an online exclusive. They just came out this week. So I'm so excited. I have, I have cut a scoring blades coming this week. Okay. So I have those two marks lined up and I'm just going to cut at a diagonal. So here are our two card bases. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take my eraser and just get rid of those pencil marks. Uh-oh, I hear a puppy crying in the other room. Um, <laughs> we're going to need our trimmer again. Okay, so we're going to start with one of the trimmers or one of the pieces of cardstock on our trimmer. Now, it's gonna be really tough for you to score at a diagonal, so you're gonna flip it so that the flat edge is gonna be at the top of your cardstock, and you're gonna score this. I need to put her arm out. And again, if you miss any of these measurements, you'll get it in the um, project sheet that'll be emailed out tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna score at three inches and six and three quarters. So right here. So two score lines. I thought I almost had the cutting blade. <laughs> so there we go. That is how you create this card base. And then you fold in half and then fold back. And it gives you that really cool look. Um, this is a fun fold that looked super hard to put together, but it's actually really easy once you just follow those couple little simple steps. Okay. All right. So we're going to score, burnish these score lines. So <laughs> Terry's texting me. Oh my gosh, Terry, you're so funny. <laughs> Terry, I'm going to out you. She sent me a text message earlier asking me if I was going Facebook Live and she put the eye roll emoji and I was like, why the eye roll? <laughs> and, and she just sent me a message and she goes, I always thought that emoji was just wondering. <laughs> So, so I don't know, Terry, <laughs> learn something new every day, right? There's always so many different emojis. It's tough to know which, what they mean, right? Okay. Now guys, we're going to need, um, 
four pieces of paper. All right, I did cut one of these because I used it for a photo. So I'm gonna show you how to cut these at an angle. So we're gonna need one piece of designer series paper. Here's the piece. <laughs> Here, I'll just piece it back together. This piece is four by five and a quarter. So you'll need one of those. You're gonna need two pieces. Now I'm using pool party on the front and I'm gonna use basic white on the inside. So you're gonna need two of these layers that are three and a half by four and a quarter. And then this little piece is two and three quarters by three and a half. Okay, so we need those to get started here. So now what we're gonna do to get these to fit, it's really easy. You go ahead and we are going to take the, we're gonna do the middle one because it's, um, we, have, we already had one cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it up. I'm gonna kind of center it here on the layer. So we've got our even on either side or as close to even as possible. And if you don't get this perfectly even, guys, it's totally fine. Don't stress out about stuff like that. It's gonna come together and look really nice at the end, okay? So we're gonna start out by kind of getting it even on the sides and on the bottom, and then you're gonna scoot it up so that this corner matches the uppermost corner of this layer, okay? So once it's where you want it to be, and here I'll just move it up so you can see, so we're just gonna move it up so it's kind of flush with that corner. I hope that makes sense. Now what you're gonna do is just hold tight, flip it over, just hold it where it needs to be, and, and then, just take your paper snips, whoops. I feel like I have like a death grip on this cardstock. I'm holding too tight, so. But you just kinda wanna hold it in place. If you do have a removable adhesive, you can also kinda put that down just to kinda hold it if you're, if you're not super steady. And then what you'll do is, see when you bump it back down, you have a nice layer around the edges. Okay, we're gonna do it with this one again, just so. We're gonna do it with this designer series paper. Katie says, I can't cut straight. Katie, it's it's okay if it's not perfectly straight. Like I said, um, you could even do, let's try it. I mean, you could, well, you know what? I don't have my post-it tape up here. I do have a piece of masking paper. Let's use that. Um, so once again, I'm gonna kind of line this up where it would be if this wasn't cut at an angle. And then I'm gonna scoot this up so that this corner matches the top corner of the diagonal. Let me just put a little piece of masking paper right there. It's already stamped, but <laughs> it's okay, it still works. So I put that masking paper to hold it in place. You could use washi tape if you want to, or post-it note, but. Actually, you guys, that masking paper really held nicely. So that's a good tip. You can just use a little strip of masking paper. And you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and just stick these down. Look at that little frog, isn't he cute? We're gonna stick these down as we go. I'll try and save some steps here. All right, so here's this one. And see how, and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It's kind of forgiving, but that masking paper really worked nicely. I kind of like that. This one, I think, <laughs> this one I cut a little bit short, but it's okay. It's folded back, guys, you won't be able to tell. It's handmade, we can't expect it to be completely perfect, right? Okay, so here's this layer. I'll just kind of move it up a little bit. It'll be a little short on the bottom because that's the piece that's gonna be folded back. It's not too bad, guys. Even though I cut it a little bit short, I, I don't think it really matters too much. I already cut this one, so let's go ahead and stick that one down and then we'll just have to cut our um, white one. And I'm not gonna stick that white one down until I do stamping, so let's go ahead and get all of those layers together. And there you go, kind of cool, right? And again, it's super easy. Like I said, just remember to use that uppermost point and the masking paper definitely helps. So if you have some masking paper, definitely use that. 
Tammy says you made that so easy to cut. I always struggle with those weird cuts. Yeah, this is one. I, it's sometimes diagonals. Everyone's like, oh, how do I do that in my paper trimmer? You don't have to. Super easy. So here, let's do it with the white. We're going to place it, move it up to the uppermost so it's flush with the uppermost corner of that layer. Put our masking paper down. And... Just trim off. The masking paper helps so much, you guys. I wish I would have done that the first time I made the card. <laughs> and then we have our layer. Kind of perfect. Okay, let's do the stamping on this layer so we can get it assembled. We're going to do happy birthday. It's going to be a birthday card. Okay. So we're going to do happy birthday to you. Hopefully I stamp this straight. And then we'll do some musical notes because, you know, it's like you're singing a song. Okay. Where's my card? <laughs> I lost the card. Here it is. And we'll just pop this one on the inside. Hi, Tiffany. I can't wait to make it. You make it look so easy. I hope it's as easy for you to do it. Like I said, the masking paper, what I would probably suggest doing is if you have masking paper or post-it tape is, I, I mean, I obviously, I'm, I had this from another project. I would cut a strip of it and just put it at the very bottom and hold it down really nicely. That helped immensely. Um, I didn't do that on my original project. I just held it. But the masking paper huge, huge saver. So there's our inside and here's our front of our card. The rest, you guys, comes together so super easy. And remember, you do get a second card from one sheet of cardstock. So you could just make two of these in one pop. I don't know about you, I always need birthday cards. So I can never have too many. Hold on, where are my pieces? Here they are. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and this paper is from the Zany Zoo um, I think it's called Zoo Crew. Zoo Crew? Zoo Crew paper. One side of the paper is black and white, and the other side of the paper has these fun little critters. Now, some of the critters you can cut out with the dies from the Zany Zoo um, bundle, and some are pretty easy to fussy cut. Like here, the, um, the crocodile has a die that coordinates, but the goat and the sloth do not. But they're super easy to, um, to, uh, fussy cut. It's not that big of a deal. So I actually, as a little cheater, and I love this because some of them are already colored. So I took our little, um, I guess she's a leopard. Is she a leopard or a cheetah? What is she? I think she's a cheetah. Um, <laughs> she was already printed in the paper and colored. And I love that she already has the shading done. So it kind of makes you look like you're an expert colorer if you're not. Um, so that's exciting, right? <laughs> so, so I just took her and all I'm going to do is you just need one color of blends and I am going to color her tutu and her little, her little shoes in, what color is this? <laughs> Bubble bath. You guys, I always struggle with colors. I don't know what it is. I, my brain goes blank when I think about a color. Do you do that? Um, so we'll color her little shoes and her little skirt. And what's cool is you can color her to whatever color you're using on your card base. Since I'm using bubble bath, I just went ahead and used that. But you could change up the card base to any color you want. We'll just do a little shading on her belt and on her little shading lines. And that's it. Talk about easy, right? And I love that because you're already going to make two of these cards already. So use the paper 
to cut out your images. Um, and I've talked about this before. Sometimes what I like to do when I am cutting my images from the paper is sometimes I just cut another die cut in plain white cardstock and then I stick this to it. It gives it a little, it makes it a little bit more sturdy um, and it gives it kind of a white backing. But because I'm going to put this on a circle, I feel like it has enough sturdiness, so I'm not going to back it today. But that's sometimes what I do when I cut my um, patterns from designer series paper. So it just makes them a little bit sturdier, but I think we're going to be okay with this card. Now I used a circle from my favorite stylish shape circle. I probably use it on every project. <laughs> and this is the, I believe it's the third largest. Yes, it's the third largest from Stylish Shapes. So that's that. And we are going to, on the back side of this, I'm going to run just some stamp and seal, tape runner, whatever you have. And I'm going to use this ribbon. I've been, I was itching to use this ribbon and this was a great project for it. This is a sheer ribbon combo pack and it comes in three colors. So you have lemon lolly, azure afternoon, and bubble bath. And it has this really pretty silver trim and I thought it worked lovely with our ballerina. So we're going to go ahead and I am just going to run this in a little bit of a zigzag pattern on the back of the circle. Nothing fancy. That'll work. All right. How are you guys doing? Does anybody have any big plans for the weekend? I'd love to hear what you're up to. Oh, God. I always need to do this ahead of time because you guys know me and Ribbon. This is it. If I don't get it this time, it's going on. It's going on whether it's straight or not, because you know me. I can mess with this ribbon until the end of time. <laughs> there we go. It works. Let's go with it. Roz says that ribbon is wonderful, easy to work with, and lovely to look at. These colors are amazing. I love the silver trim, and it ties really nice bows, too, you guys. Look. Just a nice, a nice bow tying ribbon. I love, I love ribbon. <laughs> okay. Now it looks like I did not put enough adhesive on the back. I'm just going to put a little piece of tear and tape over the back or two. And I am going to peel the backing off the tear and tape, you guys. Because if not, your Stampin' Dimensional won't stick to your um, tear and tape. So your layer might fall off. So I just put some tear and tape down to um, hold it in place. And then I'll put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. Oh, Linda says it's hot, hard to breathe, and do anything. So make cards. Linda, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> It is. Oh, gosh, Linda, where are you? It is in Texas. We have been over 100 degrees for like weeks and I am just over it, you guys. I don't know. Um, Jan says your screen seems to be flashing green. I would suggest logging out and then coming back into the video. It'll probably correct itself on the um, uh, replay, but sometimes that happens on the live. Okay, so we're going to put this little layer here. I love that little, that little pop of silver makes it fancy. Oh, Cindy says she's used, I think the yellow and the blue, but not the pink yet. Oh, I got to use the pink. <laughs> you got to use the pink. Now I'm just going to cut her little, cut the dimensional to kind of fit on her little legs. You could use mini dimensionals if you want to. You could also put this on with one dimensional if that works for you, but I like her to be nice and sturdy. She's so cute. She just makes me happy. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm dancing and having fun. Sorry, I don't know why I had to put commentary on that, but I did. And then also another thing that I love about these dies 
is not only do you cut out some of the little critters, which makes it magical, but you get some other fun dyes in this set, which are great. There's like a curtain, there's a scallop border, a great basic scallop border, balloons, clouds, a banner, trees, a little vase, and flowers. So I just cut one of each of the flowers. I wanted a little interest on this layer. I didn't want to add texture. I didn't want to stamp. I just thought it would be pretty easy. Um, but I just did two little flowers just to kind of dress her up. I figured she had a flower on her little belt. So I added two more. As you know, I always like to add my accents in odd numbers. So I figured that counted as one, two, and three. <laughs> so that was my thought process behind it. Let's do some mini dimensionals for the back of this one. And I think this one, this one might need a mini dimensional too. Oh, Linda, you're in Toronto. It was bad at 7 a.m. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's too hot too early. Karen says the curtain die upside down looks like an open book. It does. That is kind of a fun little thing. Okay, let's pop on our little flowers. And you could just stick these down with glue too. You didn't have to pop them up on dimensionals if you didn't want to. Now, we can't have those ugly naked centers, right? Let's get... I've got like the last of <laughs> some of my basic rhinestones. So we'll put a little one here, a little one on her flower on her belt, and then let's do one of these big ones on the bigger flower because it's never finished until you add bling, right? And then we need a sentiment and then we're done. Even though I started a little bit late, we did okay on time. I was a little worried. <laughs> okay, we're going to do something great to celebrate you. How fun is that sentiment? Okay, now this little piece is, um, it's about a half inch um, tall. And you can use any length you want because um, you're just going to trim it down. I didn't do that right, but guess what I did? I stamped an extra ahead of time because I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> Live stamping is hard sometimes. Okay, so now we're going to, I'm just going to simply cut these ends at a little bit of an angle. And then when you cut that at an angle on that side, actually, I think we're still, yeah, we're good. So when you cut it at an angle, it fits kind of really nicely in between her little shoe and her skirt. So you can just pop it in there really nicely. So we'll add a couple of dimensionals to the end. So the part that's going to go on the card is where I'm going to put the dimensionals, and then I'm just going to put a little touch of liquid glue on that piece to hold it in place. And this, guys, think about the possibilities. You could do this layout with so many different sets and so many different pattern papers. It's just so, it, this fold is so much fun and it looks kind of intimidating, but it's really not. There you go. So it just kind of fits in there really nicely. And there you go. Pow. Isn't that cute? That little pop of pool party is just kind of fun and sassy. Hi, Anne Margreth. She says, I love how this came together. It's cute, right? So here is our little cheetah card. And again, remember, you'll have an extra base so you can make a second one. You can even do a different critter here. You can put an alligator here if you want to and then make that layer green. So think of the possibilities. You can work it with your paper and just have some fun, right? With it. One card's great. Two cards are better. <laughs> so there we have it. There's the inside once again. And our cute little, I guess this is, what are we calling this? A double angle fun fold? Let's call it that. I don't know what the technical name is for it. So we're just going to make something up. <laughs> so I hope you will try this fun fold out. If you missed it earlier in the video, I shared how to kind of do the borders um, around this. 
once you do it a couple times, trust me, guys, it gets it's really easy to do. And the masking um, paper or post-it note would definitely be key to hold that paper in place. So try it out. And I hope you have some um, have some fun making one of these this weekend. They're kind of addicting. When you start making them, you can't stop because it's just a cute. It's just super cute and fun. I don't know anybody who wouldn't love to get that in the mail. So anyway, Thanks for watching, guys. Um, <laughs> I am so excited that you joined me today, and I hope you love this card. I will put the replay of this video up on YouTube tomorrow. And again, if you're not signed up for my email list, please, the registration, I put it in the description of the video. It's also in the comments. But sign up before tomorrow afternoon, and you'll get the project sheet for today's card. Okay, thank you so, so much, y'all. Robin says she doesn't have the dies or paper, but give it a, is gonna give it a try. Try it with what you do have. Like I said, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this one, guys. It's totally addicting. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this fold. And um, <laughs> Shirley says, have fun potty training. My puppy, not me. Um, <laughs> so I am going to, um, I'm gonna go take the puppy out for a potty break, guys. And um I hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks for joining me. Um, I love spending time with you guys on Friday. And I hope you all take good care and have an awesome, awesome weekend. Big hearts to you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.